first item I want to highlight this month is Mega Jam ferro rod. This is a huge ferro rod, half inch by about six inch ferro rod. Now we've gone ahead and custom, custom cut, custom glued on a piece of whiskey barrel stave. You know I've been super into the whiskey barrel staves lately. So we've got a really nice grip on this ferro rod, not one of those little puny thumb grips. I don't care how big your hands are, we've got a full on grip that you can really get a hold of this thing and you don't have to worry about fumbling around with a little thumb, with a little thumb grip. The cool feature of this ferro rod is it's got an inset magnetic striker that just snaps into place right inside the handle. I've never seen this before. This is, I believe, unique to this particular ferro rod. I've never seen it before, but I thought it would be a really unique feature. Obviously, you can put another striker if you want to on the lanyard, but you can beat this one. I mean, you can beat this one up against rocks and trees, and this striker isn't going anywhere. It's a really strong magnet that holds it in place. All these ferro rods are coated with a little black coating that you need to scrape off before you can really get a good, a really good strike with this. You can scrape a lot of different ways with this striker. You can scrape with the sharp end. I like to scrape with the side. Obviously, you could use the back of your knife if you wanted to as well. But it's a really great quality ferro rod that really pours out the sparks when you dig into it. Now with ferro rods, if you've trained with me before, you know that it's not about just the little sparks. You know, it's about really digging into these ferro rods and shaving off some burning metal. So I'm just gonna light up a little tinder bundle that we've got down here. And it's even wet with rain because it's raining on my fire, on my fire day, of course. That's how it works. But that's a good time to practice fire. So I'm gonna plant my ferro rod. I'm gonna really get a good grip on it. I'm gonna plant my ferro rod into my tinder. I'm a fan of striking down into your tinder. There's all kinds of different ways to strike a ferro rod. I, I'm traditional in that I strike down into my tinder. I'm gonna push my ferro rod up against the base, the rock in this, in this case, and I'm gonna fire some sparks into that tinder. And even though it's wet, it's still burning pretty good. Fire likes to climb, so I'm just gonna flip that over and let that burn up through the tinder there. Snap back on my magnetic striker, and this bad boy is good to go. I would love to see some of you build a sheath for this or some kind of cool method of carry for this. So many of you that are unbelievably creative and I would love to see some awesome solutions for how to carry this in your kit and on your, on your belt maybe or in your pack. We're also going to have a lanyard contest for these. These all come with just black lanyards or lanyard less. And we're gonna have a lanyard contest where We'll have submissions of, of different lanyard designs uh, for this ferro rod. And then we'll, as a community, choose a winning, a winning lanyard. And I'm actually gonna give away a whiskey knife uh, to the winner of the lanyard contest. So uh, think about that for the next few days and we'll shoot out an email or post something on social media uh, to get that going. So, so there it is, the whiskey ferro rod, February 2017 Ignis Apocabox. Remember, it's not if, but when.